Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can achieve text to column Excel feature within ClickView. So here is a data that I will going to use. It is a data that I got it from the income tax website uh, that we use here in India. They have released a data about uh, the corporate tax, personal income tax for all these different financial years. But as you can see, the data is not in a very good format. So when the data in, is in such a messy format where we see or we can identify that uh, data is separated by a space. So here if you can see 2000 to 2001 space and then the amount space, second amount space, third figure space and the fourth figure. So if this is how the data is looking like when you are importing it into the click view. So what you need to do is uh, is basically will I'll going to tell you to to put it in a right format and in a format which you can actually use it for analysis so let's move on to click view and see how you can do that so first thing is importing the data so let's go there and here I have the income tax data here is the data I talked about and I will click finish let's give this table name as a so this is the first table let's create a table B and in that we will use the resident load for that first we will pick the load and then we will use the subfield function so that is SUP subfield this will going to help us achieving the text to column feature which we generally use Excel to get data in a right format so subfield first it will ask the text text is basically uh, your this column name so we will not use this big column name let's let's go ahead and rename it here I will just click it as uh, let's say it is uh, it is um, text okay that's good then subfield and this is text then the delimiter is a space so single quotation space single quotation comma which field number you want so we want the first field okay as let's say we call it fiscal year comma I will just copy this entire thing so that I don't have to write it again copy enter tab space and paste it so here I don't want the sec first field I want second field and I will change the column name to corporate tax and for now I'm good I will just say resident a and I'm fine and I will drop the first table which is a drop table a semicolon save and reload all right the data is reloaded and here are my two fields earlier if you see this excel file there was just one field but I have drived two field from this one single field click add select this click add click add and ok so now the information is in the format with which we can work if I select 2008 2009 I know this is the value to validate that I can go here 2008 2009 the corporate tax was 213395 213395 so that's how you can uh, you can use or achieve the tax to column kind of a feature which you find it here under the data tab within Microsoft Excel so here I think I'm using Microsoft 2000, Excel 2010 so here is the text to column feature which does the same thing as it says it separate the contents of one excel cell into separate columns similar thing we have done it here by utilizing the subfield for rest of the column you can just go ahead and put three then it will be personal income tax fourth then it will be other direct tax and so on and so forth so i hope you have found it useful and i'll meet you in a new video with a new topic